Office program, you have several options for how to get help. In this lesson, you learn to display a screen tip and to use help. You also learn to close a file and exit an app. Let's get started. In Step 1, in the Zoom group, I'll point to the Zoom button. And this screen tip opens. It describes how the button works and explains where to find other Zoom controls. And as I point to some other commands, you can see how screen tips offer a quick way to learn about different tools and features. In Step 2, on the right side of the title bar, I'll click this Microsoft Word Help button. That opens the Word Help window. This is the home page for help in the current app. You can click any hyperlink to open a list of topics. And this toolbar lets you navigate just like a website, print any information, change the font size so things are easier to read, and search on a specific topic. When you step through this, if you see a gold band here, it means you're not connected to the Internet. You can still get help, but it won't include any Office.com content. Office.com supplements the installed help files with up-to-date topics, templates, and training tools. I'm connected to the Internet, so I don't have a band here. And the online content is updated frequently, so when you step through this, you might see some different choices here. In Step 3, I'll click the Learn Word Basics link. And we can scroll through several subtopics that cover basic Word tasks, like choosing a template and opening a document. In Step 4, I want to read the Choose a Template topic. So I'll scroll until this fills the help window. In Step 5, I'll click in the Search Online Help text box. I'll type Delete. Then I'll press Enter. And we see a list of links to topics about different types of deletions you can make in Word. Now in Step 6, I'll click this Keep Help on Top button. Then in Step 7, I'll click the Document window. And notice that the Help window remains visible. So it's good to keep help on top when you want to refer to specific information as you work. In Step 8, I'll click a blank part of the Help window, and I'll click the pin to unpin help. Now it won't stay on top if I click the Document window. And let me just show you that. So I have to use the Task Bar to switch back to the Help window. Then, I'll click the Help Window Close button. And Help Closes. Then, in the upper right corner of the App window, I'll click the Close button. The Corporate Meeting document and the Word app itself both close. And the Excel window fills the screen. In Step 9, I'll click the Excel App Window Close button. The Workbook and the Excel app both close. Then I'll click the PowerPoint Close button. And we're back at the desktop. To try these steps yourself, and for some additional tips, turn to page Office 14 in your book. You can also learn about enabling touch mode if you have an applicable device. And you can find out how to recover a document in the case of a power failure or other technical disruption.